Just in case you weren't aware, David Cameron is a disgusting hypocrite who facilitates the murder of thousands of people around the world a year. How this guy sleeps at night, I have no idea. Well, actually, I do. He sleeps soundly because he knows that most people won't ever find this fact out. It's because the swivel-eyed, wobbly-headed Kardashian fans will believe every single word he says. In recent speeches, Cameron's been spewing on about how he's going to clamp down on extremists and he fears a terror attack will happen in the UK which will kill innocent people just like Peter Power's 7-7 terror training drill which turned into reality in 2005 just as that killed innocent people. Cameron bombed Libya in 2011 to apparently save the Libyan people from Gaddafi. In the process, they estimated the bombs also killed 60,000 innocent people, a fact Cameron has neither apologised for or even acknowledged. Libya, which since the bombing is now gripped by violence, has warring factions and has now become a major breeding ground for ISIS. One of the main funders of ISIS is Saudi Arabia. America, NATO and Qatar are also involved in funding ISIS and supplying weapons to them under the guise of accidentally dropping said weapons in the wrong location. Of course, that location just happens to be ISIS's lap. And if you believe that, then you're probably a Kanye West fan and worry more about how many likes you have on your latest pouty selfie than terror attacks and people being murdered. Saudi Arabia have recently been peppering Yemen with bombs over the last few weeks and have so far killed approximately 4,900 people, most of which are innocent people. Nothing wrong other than getting in the way of Saudi Arabia's bombs. And these facts aren't being reported by the news. But this is where Cameron comes in. These people in Yemen are being killed with weapons sold to Saudi Arabia by British arms companies, and Cameron knows it, and the media knows it, but they keep mum because Saudi Arabia is in fact Britain's most lucrative arms market, and no one wants to spoil the gravy train now, do they? After all, who cares about people thousands of miles away, eh? What is Cameron doing about the Saudi slaughter in Yemen? Absolutely nothing. He seems happy to just ignore nearly 5,000 innocent people being killed by weapons that he helped facilitate the sale to Saudi Arabia. Cameron will do anything for big business. Absolutely anything. And in the Saudis' latest attack on the town of Mukha, Human Rights Watch have actually declared this to have been a war crime. What does Cameron do? Nothing. And all because it's our apparent friends, Saudi Arabia, who are doing the killing. Saudi Arabia, who we now know, thanks to the missing 28 pages, had a huge hand in 9-11, who have also beheaded more people this year than ISIS, and who also treat women diabolically. But because it's Saudi Arabia, our leaders just turn a blind eye. Britain's leaders are a fine, well-educated, upstanding, moralistic beacon of light on the world stage, pursuing an agenda to help the people the world over. And as long as you don't think for yourself, and as long as you don't veer from the mainstream media, you can even convince yourself that this is in fact the case. However, if you look behind the curtain, you will see that the leadership of Britain, as with most of the Western world, are in fact a bloodthirsty, power-crazed, murdering, despicable, paedophile-littered, hate-filled bunch of hating narcissists who only care about their own well-being and their own bank balance. Cameron doesn't care about 4,900 innocent people being killed by our weapons in a land far away. And just to show that the Labour Party are just as bad as the Conservatives because they're all in it together, in 2009, over 70,000 civilians were killed in Sri Lanka with weapons sold to the Sri Lankan government when Labour were in power. Our leaders don't value human life. Stop kidding yourself 
that they value yours. They don't. They see you as a cash cow to be sucked dry and used in any way they see fit.